Do you ever feel like a plastic bag floating in the wind, ready to start again? <laughs> Good morning, trying out that lifestyle YouTube vlogger introduction. How was that? Not bad. So I just woke up, if you couldn't tell by the fact that my voice still sounds like uh, it's a sleepy, wakey voice and I'm very puffy in my face. I get puffy and then it goes down when I am up for a little bit. So I woke up way later than I should have. I woke up at like 1030. I thought an hour would be enough time, but I sat in bed reading not so good texts. Uh, I have a ill family member in the hospital, so that's a little bit nerve-wracking. I don't really want to go too much into it because it's not my information to give, but I can't go see them. They live in a different state, so it's nothing I can really do at the moment unless I decide to fly out there, and we'll see if that happens. But digressing, that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about me getting a new tattoo. I'm very excited. I'm also nervous. I'm a bit frazzled because of that news that I got earlier, um, so... I see them all over the place. That's why. <laughs> Today I'm getting my chest tattooed, which is fun and exciting. It's scary because it's right here. Um, I can obviously still hide it with the t-shirt and all that jazz, but it is right here front and center. So yeah, I don't know. It seems like a bigger commitment than getting like something on your arm or on your leg, you know what I mean? So we'll see how it goes. Um, I am getting my tattoo done by Marina Tattoos. Here's her Instagram. She has a black and gray like stipple shading style it's kind of more minimal i really like it it goes well with the tattoos i already have on my arm here i feel like they have a very similar vibe where they're just kind of more minimal they're not fully packed in with a lot of black or a lot of color so here's my idea my idea is to have it look like someone is putting on a necklace for you and that is what i asked for and then I asked for it to be like Victorian hands with like lacy cuffs and I'm very excited. She sent me over the design. So here's what it looks like. She knocked out of the park. I think it looks so good. I love how the hands look a bit vampiric. I love the style of the necklace. And the reason why I wanted this is because I like the tattoos that kind of curve in onto your chest. So it's not taking up your whole entire chest. It just kind of like they dive in. And then I wanted some sort of jewelry piece here because that way if you wear necklaces or if you don't wear a necklace, it still looks like really nice. So that's like kind of my idea with it. I thought it would just look really, really cool. And hopefully it does once you actually stencil it. Cause it's one thing to like see it on paper, but another thing is to actually see it on you. Hopefully I explained everything well enough to you guys. Marina tattoos, getting my tattoo at noon. It's now 11 o'clock. So that means I gotta get moving and rolling cause I haven't ate anything yet and you know, you gotta do something before you get a tattoo, otherwise you're gonna have a bad time and I have no idea how long this tattoo is gonna take. I'm gonna go ahead and eat something, finish drinking this, and put on the numbing cream and figure out what a good shirt is to wear while getting a whole chest piece done. I think a like spaghetti strap tank top will work and then I'll pick a black one so that way, you know, no one's nervous about getting ink on anyone's clothes because I know like I get nervous whenever someone wears a white shirt or a shirt that looks nice to whenever I tattoo them. So I'll make sure to pick something that hopefully make her also feel like it's fine if she gets ink and blood on it and call it good. So I'll check in when I'm about to leave. Oh, I didn't actually go. A few days later. Hi, it's a couple days later since I last talked to you guys. Uh, hi. Hopefully I did a good job of explaining the tattoo I'm getting today, who's doing it, and all that jazz, but I ended up not getting it done on the day I originally was filming this vlog. It's Saturday and that was filmed on Tuesday, or was it Monday? I ended up having to reschedule with her and I feel so bad. I had a family member that was in the hospital and then that happened before the tattoo appointment and then they had gotten worse on that day, so then I got like really bad anxiety and I just asked if I could reschedule. She was a sweetheart, so green flag there. She just seems like the nicest person. No complaints, she understood completely. I definitely didn't do it in the best way. I did it like very last minute because I was trying to get myself to go, as you could see with that vlog. Um, but I just ended up just not being able to due to anxiety and stuff. So 
I do appreciate her rescheduling me last minute. I feel really bad. But today it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen today. I just don't know how it's gonna feel. I am using numbing gel. I'm using the Hush numbing gel. I've used it once before um, on my shin. Since I got my right shin tattooed, I tried it out on my left shin just to see the difference. And it did help with the pain, obviously. So that was my like, test trial to see if it would work on my chest. And so I'm gonna try and do, it does seem like a tricky situation to try and wrap it around your body. I tried doing that on whatever day that was, Tuesday, Monday. And I feel like I was wearing a armor of saran wrap. So we'll see if I do a better technique today or if I'll just end up with another armor of saran wrap and then I'll have to awkwardly try and take it off there at the studio. So I'm gonna do check-ins throughout the day. I don't know how much I'm going to film. I don't like filming the tattoo artists and the shop. I feel like, you know, they're, they're not asking to be on YouTube or anything, that's just me. So I probably will try and film footage like outside of the shop and then if there's some downtime between me filling out paperwork and her getting set up, I'll make sure to film like the interior if I have time. But otherwise, it's just gonna be more like a before and after. So before, ooh, nothing. There's nothing here, wow. After, hopefully some cool design that I don't tap out on. I don't know how long it's gonna take. For some reason, I always feel awkward asking artists like how long they're supposed to take because whenever people ask me that question, I can give like a rough estimate, but since I'm still pretty new, I'm not the best at guessing. I'm hoping it's kind of like two tattoos in one, so like, four hours I'm hoping it'll be done by. Okay, I've been talking for like nine minutes, so <laughs> already on top of another intro I made, which is probably like five minutes at least. So I'm gonna go, I'm rambling, but I'll check in with you guys when I have my numbing stuff on. I'm not gonna film it because it's like an awkward spot. I don't know, no one needs to see me put on numbing gel. <laughs> this is the only one I have planned for this year, besides ones I give myself because Finding people is difficult. So if you live in Oregon, let me know if you want a tattoo. <laughs> I'm an apprentice right now, so got my apprentice rates going on. If you want a tattoo in February, let me know. Okay, I'm gonna go. See you guys in a little bit. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag floating in the wind, ready to start again? <laughs> well, hello, it is 1040, so I'm gonna be leaving here in like 20 minutes. I figured I'd check in with you guys. I am all wrapped up. That's my character. I'm the trash man. I kind of did it in like a halter top way almost. Like so it wraps around the back of my neck once and then underneath my armpits. So it feels kind of like I'm wearing a bathing suit. So let's see how long it's going to take me to get there. Yeah, it's taking about half an hour to get there. So I'll be leaving at 11. Um, so nervous, oh gosh. I don't think I have anything else to share with you guys. I'm gonna bring my headphones. I downloaded some Two Girls, One Ghost podcasts to listen to in case she doesn't want to talk. I don't know, because she'll be right here, so I don't know if it'll be awkward with me talking. I don't think so. It's mainly breathing. I feel like that's gonna be a little weird. Well, see you guys when I'm there and ready to walk into the studio. Made it, hopefully. I found a parking spot, but Portland can be kind of confusing with the parking restrictions they're pretty good normally about putting up signs so that way you know if it's a one hour parking if you're not allowed to park there unless you have a parking permit for the area or the neighborhood you're in i don't see any signs so i'm really hoping i'm okay and this is just like a neighborhood where you're allowed to park here if there's a spot open but i'm always like slightly worried that there's something i don't know lurking around it is a nice day out and I do think I'm pretty close to the shop. I think I'm like a block away. So let's go ahead and walk over there. I'm about a minute or two late. It's like 11.30 right now. So by the time I'm over there, it'll be like 11.32. Not too bad. Traffic wasn't bad either considering it's a Saturday. So let's get my butt rolling over there and then we'll meet Marina. Well, hello. Oh, wait, hold on. No sneak peeks yet. Just wait a little bit later, then I'll show you what it looks like. I just got back home from my tattoo with Marina. I filmed a car portion of this, but I honestly think I was so tattoo brain. Yes, uh, that it, I don't think anything made sense. So we're starting over at my house. 
I haven't ate anything yet, so I'm definitely gonna do that after I'm done doing this. Um, but I did drink something, so my voice isn't as hoarse as it was since I spent the whole time talking to her, which is my preferred method of getting tattooed if the tattoo artist is okay with talking to me during the tattoo session. That's what I prefer to feel comfortable. So she was more than gracious to hear my awkward tattoo brain ramblies. So thank you to Marina. She wins the award for best tattoo artist of the year. Thank you so much for listening to someone who's awkward all the time. And then you add on tattoo brain onto me being awkward and then it just becomes super awkward. That was awkward. <laughs> Anyways, that's all you guys are here for. You're not here for me talking about me being awkward. Here to see my tattoo. So, before I show you guys it, because it is a little bit pink, it's a little irritated because I have that fragile ginger skin where a nice gentle breeze could make my skin turn pink. So, I'll show you this in the bathroom. So, hopefully, there's better lighting in there. Yes. So, Marina. 10 out of 10, recommend her so, so much if you're in Portland and you enjoy the like black and gray, softer, stipple shading kind of tattoos, she is your girl. She is so talented. I am in love with my tattoo. I don't think I'm cool enough to own this tattoo. Who am I? I cannot emphasize enough that she made me feel so comfortable. Um, she gave me little nipple pasties to put on because I had a tank top on, but it's easy for it to slide down if she's tattooing my chest. So she did that so I would feel comfortable in case my shirt slipped down or anything, which I thought was very kind that she thought about that. She made sure to make sure that my safety and my comfort level was taken into consideration with the tattoo, which I really appreciate. Not every tattoo artist does that, even though they should. Definitely recommend her. Can't emphasize that enough. If you live in Portland, go check her out. She is amazing. Um, the tattoo took four hours, which I'm glad I was accurate in my guesstimate because it's awful when your brain is prepared for a certain amount of time and then when you go over that certain amount of time, your brain's like, girl, what are we doing here? Can we stop now? Please? I'm done. So luckily I was pretty accurate with it being four hours. She was right about on the money with four hours. And I would say that she's a pretty quick tattooer in that case because four hours seems like pretty average to quick in my opinion. So I think that it's nice that she is very careful about what she's doing, but it's also pretty quick at it in my opinion. In terms of the hush numbing gel, I would say it didn't do as good of a job fully numbing the area as it did on my shin. I think it's just because it's hard to wrap your chest area, like you got arms. You can't just wrap all the way around like on your leg, your arms are in your way, your neck in your way. You got body parts in the way. So I think that's why it did numb some areas. Like when you first started out for the first like 20 minutes, I didn't feel anything, but pretty soon afterwards I did feel pain. It was nothing awful. It was maybe between a two and a three, maybe up to a four, but mainly hung out in the two to three area. Definitely very bearable, not that bad. Um, and that was kind of how it was up until hour three. And then it's, I think it was slowly starting to wear off at that point. It's hard to say since I didn't get my chest tattooed before the numbing gel. So I have no like baseline, but I do think that this helps me be able to get through the whole entire thing. If I didn't have it, I don't know if I could have sat for four hours. I have no idea. It could have been fine. It could have not been fine. It's hard for me to tell when things were just getting sore and when things were getting ouch, but like were the accurate amount of ouch for not using numbing gel. Do you get what I mean? Am I explaining myself well? Hopefully I am. So once it started wearing off, it went up to like a five, which is still very bearable. The worst part of the tattoo was the part in the center with where the sternum is, which I was expecting because most people say like your sternum tattoos hurt a lot. So that definitely was accurate for me. And the center hurt more than on the sides. But overall, it was not that bad. The worst part was when she was doing the white highlights, which I don't know. Normally, white highlights aren't that bad for me, but I don't know if the numbing gel makes things a little bit skewed, even if it's mostly worn off. I have no idea. But for the white highlights, those were the worst part. I would say those went up to like an eight, but since it was only like 20 to 30 minutes of white highlights, it really wasn't that bad in all consideration. So a very enjoyable experience. I hope I made Marina 
feel comfortable as well. I don't know. I'm always worried that like I'm gonna make the tattoo artist feel weird because of my awkwardness. So hopefully that's not the case. What else do I need to mention? Went over pain, how long it took, how awesome she is. Uh, I think the only thing I don't really mention normally is price, which I'm not gonna mention here. If you're interested in her price, you can let her know. Her books open like every couple of months. So if you're interested in getting something from her, obviously ask those questions to her, not to me. If you don't know, Portland's a pretty expensive city in comparison to other cities in America. So you're gonna be paying more because rent is more expensive here. Just heads up, that's how it is here in the grand old land of Portland. So I think that's all I have to mention. Hopefully this was better than when I tried doing this on my phone in my car, hopefully. So let's go ahead and go to the bathroom so I can show you what the tattoo looks like. All right, are you guys ready to see my chest tattoo? Well, here you go. Let me bring it down a little bit. Ouch, I'm burning on a high level right now. So here's how it turned out. Sorry, it's a little shiny because of the standard room. Again, if I remember tomorrow to take a video of it before I reapply the second sheet, I will. It is a little irritated and a little red, but that's my skin for you. It's just how it is. So try and look past the redness, please. I think she did a great job. I love how it looks like vampire hands are putting on a necklace and I love how it's a little bit Victorian as well which is what I asked her to do and if you know my aesthetic is Victorian vampire and so I think she did a great job of translating that into a tattoo. I am so happy with it. I think she did a great job with the jewelry. I know doing symmetrical stuff like circles is so hard to do with the machine. Believe me it is hard so I think she did absolutely fantastic. Girl is so talented. I love it oh so much and I really love these pieces here. I didn't even think about doing like the ends of the necklace as like showing and I think that was a very very cool idea of hers to like have them drape down. I think it just fits this so nicely. It just like sits right below my collarbone so it's really easy to hide if I just want to wear a t-shirt or if I want to show it off I totally can. And then if I just had a v-neck shirt on, I think it looks nice too because it just shows the jewelry piece all around. I think this placement is just absolutely perfect. She let me pick the size. So like she had four different ones printed out and then she let me pick which one I thought fit best on my chest area. And I think this one fits my body so, so well. It looks so good. I still can't believe I have it on me and I just don't feel cool enough to own something like this. But thank you, Marina, for making me feel like I actually can. If I missed anything you guys had questions about, please let me know down below. Probably glaze over something with my mushy mushy brain right now. I'm making things this vlog, but I may not. If I don't, then I'll wrap this up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great January so far. And as you probably have seen mine, mine started off a little rocky, but it's getting better. So hopefully this isn't just a total look into what 22 is gonna be. Hopefully that was just like a blurp of badness and then 2022 will be okay. Otherwise, I do have like a weird bad luck thing around New Year's. It's been happening since 2015 and every year since something bad has happened. So maybe this is the curse of New Year's on my life. I hope you guys are having an awesome yet spooky week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!